Hugh Harris in launch control. The firing system for the sound suppression water will be armed in just a couple seconds from now. A collective gas it as the crowd armed. catches its breath. T minus 45 seconds and counting. T minus 40 seconds and counting. The development flight instrumentation recorders are on. T minus 35 seconds. We're just a few seconds away from switching to the redundant sense sequencer. T minus 27 seconds. We have gone for redundant set sequencer start. T minus 20 seconds and counting. The engines will start four minutes early. T minus four, sec 15, four seconds early. 14, 13. T minus 10, nine, eight, any minute, any seven, seven, here go. six, five, four. We've gone for main engine start. We have. There's a giant burst of red flame and white smoke from the tail of the rocket, and with no waiting at all, Columbia kicks and goes. No slow, majestic climb like the old Apollo. Columbia leaps from the pad like a scared cat, gathering speed now on a tremendous exhaust of white smoke and orange flame. You can hear the roar across the three and a half miles from the launch pad. Columbia arrowing into a cloudless Florida sky on a tongue of flame. Shuttle now aiming downrange, the crew on their back. Everything going beautifully. Columbia, Houston, you're going throttle up. Yeah, you're going throttle up. They've now gone through the speed of sound, the maximum dynamic pressure, and the pressures are now building, or are, are lowering on the spacecraft, and everything is going beautifully. One minute, 26 seconds. The rocket pitches over on its side, headed in the proper direction, now arrowing out over the beaches over the Atlantic Ocean. John Young and Bob Trippin can see the ground below as they go by. Eight miles downrange, 12 miles high already. Roger, Columbia on the nice ride. You're lofting a little bit, so you'll probably be slightly high at staging. One minute, 45 seconds, coming up on go, no, go. Columbia, your negative seat. Uh, that call up says uh, that uh, Columbia, the altitude is too high for ejection seat use. John McLeishan, you can Columbia, your goal for SRB step. Approved for dropping off those two giant forces. Seconds. Everything going well. Time for SRB step confirmation. <laughs> Roger on the zip, Columbia. Separation. The boosters have left Mark, their boosters uh, behind them and they're moving on. Confirm solid rocket booster set. Two small specks falling away from the sides okay. of the Columbia. The spacecraft now Mark, riding uh, up towards the orbit so on its going three going main engines. This converging its program. Columbia is now steering for its precise window in space for main engine cutoff. They now have about six minutes Mark, left. Two minutes, 40 seconds. Columbia now 39 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 42 nautical miles downrange. 5,800 miles an hour, and they have about two minutes left in the Mark, burning uh, of those two main minutes, engines. Uh, 50 seconds. Columbia, Columbia, you're looking a little hot. All your calls will be a little early. Okay. Columbia now has two engine aerobic capability. They could land well. They could land in Three Spain minutes. if they wanted to now. They don't want to. They Young want to go on to where moving out. Now, velocity now reading uh, 6,200 feet per second. Three minutes, 10 seconds into the flight. Four and a half times Mark, the speed uh, of sound. Three minutes, 15 seconds. Columbia now 51 nautical miles in altitude, 66 nautical miles down range. Velocity now reading 6,500 feet per second. Everything going according to plan. Three minutes, 28 Mark, seconds. Uh, three minutes, 30 seconds. Columbia now 55 nautical miles in altitude, 78 nautical miles down range. If anything, those two solid rocket boosters and Columbia's three Mark, main engines are burning even hotter and faster than they expected. The crew will get to orbit a little early this Columbia morning. Columbia the train goes well. Now about 30% of the speed they need to achieve orbit. Everything continuing to go Mark, perfectly. Three minutes, 55 seconds. Standing by for a press to Miko, which says Columbia 
should lose one engine. Columbia, press stand by Preston Eco. Columbia continues flying forward, coming up on right. the turn. From Eco. Roger, press on Eco. That literally means, literally means press on until the engine's cut off. Mark the four minutes eight. Columbia, stand by for negative return. Deciding now on whether to Mark, come back. Negative return. They will not be coming back to the launch site. Mark the four minutes twenty-five. Five seconds with that. Outstanding. With that call on John Young radio track. Capcom, Brandon Stein, Columbia now committed to space travel. Young and Crippen can no longer turn around and return to the launch site. Columbia, Houston, uh, we're showing both Ohm's PC transducers off the hill high. Mark uh, four minutes, uh, 45 seconds. The uh, flash evaporator is activated on board to cool Columbia. Uh, we're set off the hill low here. Very important milestone, those uh, flash batteries. Roger, stand by. We'll keep an eye on it. Mark That's 4 minutes 56 seconds. Columbia is lofting early in the second stage. It's now being taken out of the trajectory as program. Columbia now up 74 nautical miles in altitude, 181 nautical miles in altitude. What a view. What a view. <laughs> what a view. Glad you're enjoying it. Mark uh, 5 minutes 15 seconds. Uh, Columbia now 75 nautical miles in altitude. Uh, 202 nautical miles downrange. Velocity now reading 11,000 feet per second. 6,517 miles an hour. A status check and mission controlled by Flight Director Neil Hutchinson. Everything looks go from here. Vic, Columbia Driving. Houston, you're going 530. Miko, 8 plus 3, 4. AFN wishes to thank the first German television, ARD, for permission to transmit the video portion of their coverage of the launch of the Columbia. At this time, AFN-TV returns to regular programming.